Jenny Hall here for Honey Bee Stamps. Today I'm creating with the brand new Autumn Afternoon release. This is Nuts About You Stamp and Die Set and the Apple Barrel Dies. Be sure to stay tuned to the end of the video where I share some additional projects using this particular stamp set. I'm going to stamp these images onto a piece of Bristol paper and I'm using VersaFine Clear Nocturne ink. This is a pigment ink that stays wet long enough for me to be able to sprinkle on some clear embossing powder and heat set it and this will give me a nice bright stamped line and it also will hold in any water coloring. I'm using the Zig Clean Color Real Brush Pens to do the coloring today and I've grabbed some browns and some fall colors. I'm using a vanilla pen to do the spreading of the ink in the lighter areas. I try very hard not to use a water brush or a wet paint brush when using these because it's going to wash out the colors completely. And one thing that I found that I can achieve nicely with the Zigs is a good vibrant color as long as they're not diluted. So I'm going to use an off-white or that vanilla in order to move the color around and not dilute it. And I found that this works really great. There's also a clear colorless blender. I believe that it is number 999. And you could use that um, to move some things around if necessary. It'll give you the same type of look. Now I'm going to use the fall colored pens up and down the right hand side of this panel and I'm doing two colors on most of the leaves. I'm laying down one color and then going back and leaving an area blank and then blending them together. If I get the end of one of the markers or one of the pens contaminated with another color then I just kind of scratch it off on the paper. Here's a look at a new to me die cut machine. This is this prism machine from Spellbinders. It is a small die cut machine and will allow for me to be able to share the die cutting portion on screen with you, which is something new. I have not been able to do that since I was using a much larger machine. I have a Gemini Junior die cut machine, which I use, and it's fabulous, but I like to be able to share the die cutting with you on screen as well. I'm taking a scrap of 110 pound Nina cardstock, and this just came out of my scrap bin. I'm sure we all have loads of those little strips of paper. And it was the perfect size to be able to add color to for some die cuts. Here is the apple barrel and it's just the right size to go through this little machine. I just love this little machine. And I'm going to do the die cut from craft colored cardstock. In order to get the apples, then I'm using the ink blended area. And then I've got the other side for the, I guess they're straps. Is that what you call straps on a barrel? Um, the barrel straps that are holding the barrel together. So I've got enough room on this little piece of paper to get uh, enough apples to be able to feature on my card. And then the straps are colored with pumice stone. Now I made the die cut of the barrel from craft colored cardstock because that's going to be my lightest shade on this particular unit. I've got walnut stain distress oxide here and I wanted to keep the look to where it has a contoured edge on each side and so I made sure to leave it much lighter in the middle. I'm adhering those little barrel straps together with some liquid glue to the barrel and set the die cut aside so that it can dry. Here is some post-it tape that comes on a tape roll. And this is one of my favorite craft things that's, that I use daily. 
because this little roll of post-it tape can use and serve so many different ways. So I've placed this strip just above the score line on an A2 size top folding note card. I'm going to add ink blending directly down to the card base and using three different blues that are from my Oxides collection. And I'm just looking to have this be like an uncloudy afternoon autumn and just have like the look, you know, the look of a thought bubble, you know, how like a daydream and it just kind of, it looks like a cloud sort of. Well, that's the idea that I had for this particular card. Not, not really harsh lines on the background, but something very hazy. I noticed when I set the barrel down on the card base that the blue shows through on those um, on those little tiny holes. And so I went back in my scrap bin and pulled out a couple of strips of white paper and that's going to be adhered on the back of the barrel and it's just going to stop that blue sky from showing through. Here is the sentiment that is going to be created on black cardstock and I've treated the cardstock with an anti-static powder tool stamped with Versamark sticky ink and now I'm using some white embossing powder and that is going to get me two sentiments. I'm going to use both of these together and they just kind of seem like they they belong together. This is a really really great stamp set from Honeybee Stamps. It's called Nuts About You and it makes several different cards possibilities that are tongue-in-cheek and I thought that this one was so cute about it I saw a squirrel that seems to be a running joke with so many people that they say oh uh, you got distracted did you see a squirrel <laughs> you know squirrels have a very short attention span so the idea of the design on this particular project is that there are a couple of squirrels who are up to no good They've got their crazy shenanigans and they have knocked over the barrel of apples and I'm surprised they're not carrying off an apple. <laughs> um, but I've got the barrels spilling or the apples spilling out of the barrel. I've got some leaves that are kind of uh, breaking up the color of all those red apples. And then we've perched one of those squirrels up on top of the barrel. Now that put the squirrel that seems like he is looking back up there and then we have the other squirrel who is just in such bliss running and making crazy stuff happen that he is following the leader. They're chasing each other. I absolutely love watching squirrels in real life when they're chasing each other around a tree and and having fun and is I mean it's just happiness so I thought this would be a great theme for this particular stamp set so it I forgot your birthday is something that happens pretty often for a lot of us and I guess I saw a squirrel you know these little squirrels are just just so cute I have the Hot Tropics gem stickers here to add a few rhinestones and I know this is kind of a summertime color scheme but the greens that are in here just really stand out with some of the greens that are already on the leaves and I thought the gold colors would also be nice. And here's a look at our finished project. Now I've created a couple of more projects from the Nuts About You. This is a just a regular life is nuts sometimes on a fall theme. And then I had some scraps left over from another project. So here are our crazy squirrels again with some pumpkin patch. And I hope that you've enjoyed this project and we'll see you next time.